Joey, congratulations on your um, on your selection. How are you? I know you're, you're missing minutes from a from a playing point of view, but just how are you feeling generally in terms of uh, health and fitness and uh, and, the, and the big task this coming weekend? Yeah, um, really excited for the weekend now. Um, I feel like I'm I'm ready. Um, feeling like I'm ready to go. Um, both mentally, mentally and physically. Um, Training's gone really well this week, and last week was uh, really good as well. So yeah, feeling feeling really ready. Can you talk about playing alongside Jamison Gibson Park and the sort of combination that you your combination of him and what you'd be hoping to do is uh, uh, un unleashing that Irish back division? Um, yeah, I've I've played with them a few times before. Um, get on really well with them. So looking forward to getting out there with them. Um, He's a great guy to play outside. He uh, he brings great tempo and uh, brings players in around him. So um, he makes my job a lot easier. So yeah, really looking forward to that. I just thought of France on the defensive threat, uh, the, 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 yeah, the, the, the attacking threat that they'll pose you um, this coming weekend is going to be a huge test, isn't it? Yeah, of course. Um, don't really. You can just look at their team, and there's almost a threat everywhere. So um, we're, we have to be on top of our game. Um, but really looking forward to the challenge ahead. Thanks, Joey. Joey, so when when Johnny stepped out of training yesterday, did you get a, a tingle of anticipation down your spine? Do you think that this is it? This is my moment. Um, didn't really think about it uh, until I was actually told. Um. We, we do a lot of switching in and out anyway during training, so um, when I was told to just stay in, it was, yeah, look, I was I was excited and great to get, um, looking forward to getting some minutes under my belt, and um, yeah, but to be honest, over the last two or three weeks in Portugal in the Welsh week, I um, was in and out with them a lot, so uh, yeah, I'm feeling very, very confident. Yeah, he's 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 obviously very experienced, and it's great. He's a great guy to chat to. Um, but I feel like my preparation has been very good. So, and um, with the help of him and the coaches, I think I feel like I'll be ready to go on Saturday. So, uh, yeah, really excited for that. And just finally, for me, Andy said he, he wants you to play your own game, express yourself. What do you see as your own game? What can the Irish fans expect to see from you on Saturday? Um, I, I suppose it's hard to put into words, but it's just uh, playing what's in front of me, getting a feel for the game, um, trying to make guys around me look good, um, and yeah, just try and combine everything and do the right thing. Thanks, Joey. Best luck. Thank you. Hi, Joey. Ashley here from Off the Ball. How are you? Good, good. Yourself? So, thank you. Um, it's a massive opportunity for you, Joey. Your first Six Nations start. Can you tell us just when you first initially heard the news that you were going to be in there getting your first start? How you felt? Yeah, really, really excited. Um, obviously, been involved in a few Six Nations campaigns before, but um, looking forward to getting getting the start from um, from the go ahead. And um, yeah, just really excited and looking forward to Saturday. And would you say this is your biggest game in your career to date? Uh, I don't know. It's. <laughs> I, don't, I think I'll only be able to answer that question when I'm retired. Um, yeah, I'm not really looking at it like that. I'm just going out to do my job, um, help the team the best way I can. Um, I think everyone's everyone's humming and really, really excited for the weekend. So um, if I can help out the guy inside and outside of me, then uh, I'll be doing my job and hopefully we'll be in a good spot. That's great, Joey. Thanks, Mel. Best of luck. Thank you. Hi, Joey. Simon Lewis here, hope you're well. Um, just wondering when you came back in the summer, was there an element of you feeling that you had to play catch up a little bit in, in, in an island setup? Was was there was there much catching up to do? Um, 
obviously getting back up to speed with all the calls and um, the systems within Ireland um, maybe took me a week, but um, didn't look at it that way. I, I wanted just to go out and um, enjoy being back playing again and uh, love being in the whole environment of the place. So um, just just trying to enjoy every day, get better um, and do my part as part of the team. So um wasn't necessarily looking at it that way. Starts since. I mean, you, you must have been grateful for that 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 summer experience, and then slotting in against Argentina. How much do you think that stood to you coming into this week? Yeah, massively, massively. I think every time I can get a start and get game time under my belt, um, it's a hugely beneficial. So um, having the November and having the summer tests behind me, um, I think it, it it leaves me in a good spot going into this weekend. Thanks, best of luck. Thank you. Hi, Joey. Just wondering what you're like in the build-up to matches that you're starting on the bench or a match that you're starting for Ireland, and do you think that the, given that it's your first Six Nations start, it might be different this weekend? Uh, I don't think so. Um, I try to approach every game the same and um, not really... Um, change too much about it um, regardless of the game so I'm just going to go and go about my own my own ways the way I normally would um, regardless of whether I was starting or on the bench or so um, just trying to be myself really and do you think you're a cool customer in the build up to these matches or do you get the, the, the nerves and the butterflies um, because it, it must be obviously a different environment everyone talks about Paris, or France it's not the France it's a different thing so how do you think how do you deal with it in general? Um, I suppose, yeah, like I think anyone would get a bit nervous before any big game. I, I definitely do. So um, there'll always be that. But I suppose when you think back to what you've been through and the training, um, how it's gone the week previous, um, I think it gives confidence to me in particular and then confidence to players around you. So um, knowing that you can lean back on the work you've done previous to this, um, gives me massive confidence. And finally, did you, how was the reaction from your family? Was it a kind of a bigger deal this time? Obviously, it's a new, st it's a new step, next step up. Was there a, what did you say to your family? Yeah, um, they were pretty delighted. Um, I think they're all going to try to get on a plane now to France. So there were, one or two were going to come over anyway. But um, yeah, I think they're, they're all pretty buzzing. No, they were going to go before, but now I think there's a, an extended crew coming. Brilliant. Thanks, best of luck. Thank you. Good, good. Yourself? Good, thanks. You sound, uh, you sound pretty comfortable with that, but all this. Yeah, um, I suppose I'm really excited. I'm looking forward to it, and um, training's gone really well this week, so just looking forward to Saturday now and getting out there. Yeah, massively. Um, I think anyone who's been through a, a long-term injury knows how difficult it is. Um, so to have coming through that, um, it's definitely helped me mentally to definitely enjoy the the good things in life sometimes. So to be honest, I'm just delighted to be back playing, um, to be back out there injury-free and um, just relishing the whole environment of going into such a big game on the weekend and um, it puts everything into context, really, when you're when you're when you're back playing and you're um, when you're not injured, I suppose. But no, it, it definitely having gone through that, I definitely feel like mentally I'm a lot stronger for it. Um, so yeah, looking forward to it. Um, I suppose in the environment that we're in, it's um, 
it's so competitive anyway and um, like in training everyone's trying to put their hands up so all I can kind of do is go out and put my best foot forward and see where that goes from there. Thank you.